Let me say, I see a lot of young people here. And uh, this is fascinating when you talk to, to young people. Uh, I want to ask something. Can we have a dark uh, way? Because I am a, first of all, I am a photographer. This is my, uh, let's say, my profession. A wonderful and beautiful profession. And I express myself many times through photographies. And that's why through pictures. And uh, what I have today is uh, the idea to present you some of my experience with indigenous people in Colombia. I worked there uh, uh, almost for uh, mm, 35 years with the Kogi people, with the Arhuaco people, with the Wiwa people in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, uh, we uh, want to talk about uh, cultural diversity. What does it mean? What are the main challenges of our world? Uh, uh, when you look to cultural diversity. And let me say that uh, we face so many great challenges in our world that it's uh, very difficult to find the clear solutions. Uh, if you, if uh, today, when you see it from the environmental side, we have so many problems all around the world we are destroying our biodiversity. Uh, all our natural places are not anymore there. Uh, the vitality of the nature is not anymore there. And that's why environment is one of the main issues uh, today. When you see climate change, uh, then it's obviously related to human behavior, but also it has a great impact on the environment. When you see and you face the big challenges of the economy, well, see what we have today in the world. There are many big crises on the economic uh, sector, but obviously it's interrelated. When you see the damage to environment, it's also with relation to the economic procedures uh, and to our development model. Uh, for many, many, many years, uh, our development model has been only in one direction. And uh, to engage the cultural diversity of our world was not uh, a, a problem, N was not in the agenda. And when you see um, on the side of cultural diversity, some years ago, we have had uh, uh, 6,500 uh, different cultures in our world. Today, we have 5,000, and it's decreasing. Uh, uh, why? Why? Uh, why don't we take into account the traditional knowledge of so many cultures that are related to a specific kind of environments. And that's why I want to um, uh, make my presentation about Colombia and especially the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, where I can say I have learned so many uh, beautiful lessons uh, that provide me the possibility to move to be the Minister of Environment in my country, um, to establish a, a NGO in uh, Colombia. This was the uh, Fundación Pro Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. I was the director of this foundation for uh, 13 years. And I created the foundation uh, with the indigenous people, with the peasants, with the business sector, with the political sector, with all the different stakeholders. I engage them 
to be part of the foundation to protect the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. I don't know how we will go. Okay. A tropical microcosm of Colombia's reality. When you go to the Sierra Nevada, you find all the problems, all the beauties, in all kinds of situations of Colombia in a very a small uh, and tiny place. Uh, that is the highest intercoastal mountain all around the world. You will see it. Uh, Colombia, Ay, el, el bichito, el bichito, uh, just a second please. Well, we have, uh, this is our, oh, yo, yo. See, on PTT. Okay. Here is Colombia. It's a, uh, well, I love my country, obviously. No, but I have to say that it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Uh, when you go to so many places in the world, you find beautiful places. But this mm, Colombia concentrate some uh, 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 interesting uh, phenomena, like, for example, we are the most uh, biodiverse country in the world per a square kilometer. We are number one in bird species. We have uh, 1,800, 1,900 uh, bird species. For the whole Europe, it's 440. You know? And all these species are concentrated in Colombia. Why? Because we have the Amazon region, we have the Orinoco Plains, we have the Andes, this uh, mountain range who come inside Colombia. It opens in three big branches. You know, so it provides different kinds of valleys, different kinds of ecosystems. We have the Pacific Coast. Uy. Ahí volvió. Muy bien. Good energy. Okay. We have the Pacific Coast. This is the most diverse site of the planet. No, the Chocó area in Colombia. We have wonderful rivers. We have the Caribbean. We have swamps, big swamps. Uh, well, we have everything. It's a wonderful country. And there is also something that we have to look very carefully, for example, this is a, a bridge between North America, Central America, and South America. So all kinds of migrations, human migrations, plants and animals, they have to migrate through Colombia. So it's a, a special place where all kinds of situations has happened in the past. And when you have so many important ecosystems, you have human groups related to different kinds of conditions. That's why we have 102 different uh, indigenous communities in Colombia, uh, each of them uh, in, in different places. We have, for example, uh, in the, in the uh, Guajira Peninsula, in this side, it's a desert. We have uh, the jungles of the Amazon, the jungles of uh, this area, the Orinoco, okay, the mountains. Mm? In the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, it's a tiny mountain here. It's an isolated mountain from the Andes Cordillera. Uh, it's a uh, jungle, uh, uh, but at the same time, 
It's the highest intercoastal mountain all around the world. It reached 5,775 meters above sea level only in 42 kilometers from the Caribbean coast. So it's a big mountain in front of the Caribbean. Okay. Um, we have uh, in Colombia a wonderful constitution. And that's why we have a special kind of protection for indigenous people, but also for uh, our uh, natural environment. Here you can see, hmm, this is, I, I am sorry that uh, it's uh, not so dark that we need. But all what you see here with these lines and here in these colors are indigenous territories, protected indigenous territories. Then you have the national parks in Colombia. No, all the green uh, national parks in Colombia. The Sierra Nevada, it's an indigenous territory, but it's also a national park. A double way of protection. And it's a, a, a biosphere reserve from UNESCO. So three kinds of uh, legal protection for the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Uh, it's a, like a pyramid, no, with, uh, uh, you can see here, no, uh, with a big swamp nearby. Uh, it's a water factory, a wonderful water factory. It has 30 different rivers that born in the Sierra Nevada, in the snow peaks of the Sierra Nevada. All kinds of ecosystems. This is a unique place because you concentrate all kinds of flora, fauna, uh, 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 representative to the American tropical area. It's concentrated in the Sierra Nevada and Santa Marta. Uh, let's start to say that when Alexander von Humboldt went to uh, America, uh, he produced a wonderful uh, uh, research and a special uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, new geography of all kind of plants, the tropical plants. And he was in Chimborazo. He was in, uh, uy, 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 aquí pasó algo. Juliana, auxilio. I am an old guy, so I, 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 I cannot use such kind of technologies. Uh, it's not with me. Uh, so <coughs> Alexander von Humboldt, he uh, uh, create a new way of thinking for Europe. He introduced the different clima uh, 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 climatic zones of the tropics, and he made it in the Chimborazo. He never went and he never visited the Sierra Nevada. I am sure that he, if he could be in the Sierra, he will stay there forever. Because it's a wonderful laboratory, human and natural laboratory. Well, there's no peaks. Let's move through the Sierra. I'm sorry. The condors, we have the greatest uh, uh, population of condors in Colombia, inside the Sierra. Uh, uh, the different lagoons, they start from the snow peaks and create the rivers, but they are very, very important for indigenous people. We will see it later. A special kind of species, for example, in amphibians, uh, we, have, we are number one in amphibians in, uh, in Colombia, all around the world, also. No? So it's uh, very, very interesting. And uh, this is a, a, a frog that uh, lives up uh, in the um, 4,500 meters above sea level. By night, when uh, uh, the, the temperature change, it goes below zero. 
because the altitude. And uh, um, this frog, he stops his heart. And it stays so till the next day when the temperature grows. So it's a, a very interesting uh, adaptation. No? And it's a, a unique species, it's an endemic species of the Sierra Nevada. So many endemic species that are only uh, related to the Sierra Nevada uh, are, uh, and, and not only the Sierra, but in Colombia also. We have plenty of, uh, of uh, uh, such kind of endemic species. Well, a, a wonderful jungles. No, you go from the snow peaks down to the lagoons, the paramos, then the uh, tropical rainforest, uh, uh, some cats that we have there. <laughs> good friends, they are good friends. Uh, well, all, all sorts of uh, snakes, very, some very poison. No, you have to walk there inside the jungle with a lot of uh, care because you cannot see them. No? In, uh, but when you approach, and uh, this is something very interesting, when you approach and there is a snake, for example, no, she moves a little bit and you can immediately perceive the movement. So you take care about it. No? Mm, this is something very, very important. The Caribbean coast, no, a wonderful place. The flamingos, we have uh, beautiful, oh, and the alligators, uh, they uh, live also, the, the last uh, Caribbean population of alligators in Colombia is located in the Sierra Nevada, the Santa Marta. Then we have dry uh, uh, areas, and we have the desert. You know? In the past, uh, 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 in uh, 1502, the Spaniards came into the Sierra Nevada for the first time. They saw from the sea the big snow peaks and they were attracted and they came to the Sierra Nevada and they found different kind of uh, indigenous groups inside the Sierra. The, the Betoma people, the Tairona people, the Ramada, well, the, uh, and they mention and they produce a map uh, about what they have uh, found there. The Tairona people, they were very, very important people, uh, a very developed uh, culture at that time, uh, wonderful pottery, uh, gold uh, figures, uh, masters of gold. That's why Colombia is called the land of El Dorado. No, we have a fantastic gold museum in Colombia. Uh, I invite you to be there when you are in Bogota. Please visit the gold museum. It's uh, something very unique because all the ancient cultures, they were related to gold objects and they produce masterpieces of gold. Uh, uh, Stones, no, the, um, the Tyrona people, they were a stone culture, so all their tools were made by stones. Beautiful uh, uh, cornalines and quarts and uh, other kinds of stones. And uh, they established a great complex of uh, towns and cities all interconnected by stone roads through the whole Sierra. We found in the last uh, 30 years more than 450 uh, towns and, and cities in the middle of the jungle. No? So uh, this was a reconstruction of uh, the lost city. It's called the lost city in the Sierra Nevada. Uh, they produce uh, a, a special kind of technologies because it's a, uh, it's a place where you have a lot of rain uh, every day. And, and there are some very uh, uh, 
simple lessons. For example, in the mornings you have a lot of sun. You know, the sun comes, rises, and the temperature is wonderful. In the afternoon it rains a lot. But the stones, they keep warm. So for health, it's very important that the evaporation of water uh, in the cities was uh, because of the stones, the materials that they use for their, uh, uh, for, uh, their uh, uh, the, the building of the terraces. And uh, look, it's uh, monumental. Uh -huh. Good, let's go. This is a model on how they were inside the mountain. And it's a continuum, no? a continuum. Uh, there is an idea that uh, at the, when the Spaniards arrived to the Sierra Nevada, there were uh, something like 1.5 million people living in the Sierra, no? with a high culture, uh, high developed culture, a lot of uh, engineering, uh, uh, the way how they manage the water system to avoid erosion because it's a very steep uh, mountain. Uh, and uh, the Spaniards uh, came, 1502, uh, they arrived uh, to the Sierra and they, what they wanted? They wanted the gold. Mm? They were behind the gold and uh, richness. This is a great difference between the American cultures because gold for the indigenous people is not something to get rich. It's something uh, spiritual. Now, the big difference between the Europeans and the American people, it was this big difference about richness, and a spirituality. Two ways of understanding life. Two ways of approaching your society. Two ways of producing a adaptation system to complex ecosystems like the Sierra Nevada and Santa Marta. <coughs> they battle with the indigenous people, with the Tirona especially, for almost 100 years. And then they win the last battle in 1599. And this uh, last battle, uh, they um, order to the indigenous people to go down to the lowlands to have control over these people, to have a, a, a workforce, but at the same time uh, to expand their new approach to the uh, uh, to agriculture, and this agriculture, it was uh, cattle, for example, with cattle, new kind of crops, uh, and they establish a new way of life in uh, for uh, in the Sierra Nevada and the surrounding areas. This is also a, a, a big change. Uh, some of the, of the indigenous people, they went inside the mountain and they disappeared there. Others went down to be controlled by the Spaniards. After, uh, in uh, 19th century, there was a great interest in, uh, in uh, Latin America from the researchers, for example, Alexander von Humboldt, and many, many others from Europe especially, they went to visit different uh, places in Latin America. And they, um, mm, uh, in, in the case of the Sierra Nevada, they make different explorations inside the mountain and they found again the indigenous people. They were concentrated inside the mountain. They could keep isolate from the whole and uh, that's what we have today. Uh, 
1950, there was a great violence inside Colombia, a political violence. And many peasants from the inside of Colombia, they immigrated to the Sierra Nevada. We will see a little bit about the model of the peasants. How they came, they were, they abandoned their uh, traditional territories and they came to be safe in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. First, they took the wood, its economic value. No? This was part of the economy. They uh, start uh, to colonize the Sierra Nevada. They establish their houses over the old terraces of the Tairona people. Wonderful places, very near to the water, uh, with a very good climate and very good soils. Then they found a lot of gold pieces and pottery inside the tombs, and they start to loot to loot all the tombs of the Tairona people. Th there was a huge commerce and trade of archaeological objects. No, the gold objects of the Tairona. And then you can see many shops in one of the nearby cities in Santa Marta selling the pottery and the stones and the gold objects of the Tairona people because it was a huge commerce uh, of people that uh, 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 establish their economy because of what they could found inside the ancient Tairona uh, places. Then they uh, start to produce coffee. Mm, we have a wonderful coffee, you know, the best coffee in the world. It's uh, the Colombian coffee, uh, of course. It's a wonderful place to grow co uh, coffee. Uh, <coughs> so uh, this was part of the economy. Then it was something, who is coming from North America? From you? 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 How many people is from North America? Yes. Uh, yes. You? Mexico, who is coming from Mexico? You are coming from Mexico. Uh, and the other, where are you coming from? Huh? <laughs> so, from Europe? Most of you. Okay, wonderful. Well, you may recognize this plant. No, this is the marijuana. Uh, it was, no, you don't recognize it? Okay, good. Uh, uh, it was in the 70s, it was um, a, a huge uh, um, uh, fight uh, against marijuana crops in Mexico, especially at the border with the United States. It was a huge trade of marijuana in, uh, going inside North America, and it was a huge fight. And this fight produced something. This was the, they split the uh, crops of marijuana through the whole Caribbean, through the islands, Jamaica, for example, some other islands. And it came to the Sierra Nevada also. No? So uh, uh, the peasants, they start to grow marijuana. And you know something? It was the best marijuana in the world. <laughs> so, again, high quality. No, and this high quality produce new markets, a great demand. But at the same time, it produced the deforestation of the Sierra Nevada and Santa Marta. More than 100,000 hectares have been cut down to produce marijuana. And it creates a great disaster on the environment, on the indigenous people, uh, on uh, the peasants. Uh, uh, this was part of the trade. Uh, you can see with mules, they put uh, onside the mules 
big uh, amounts of marijuana to take it to the ships and send it to North America. Most of the people behind the business were Americans. You know, they put the money to make uh, such kind of thing. Then it was uh, a situation to uh, destroy the marijuana fields with fumigation. This was not good. And because of the social problems behind uh, 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 marijuana trade, uh, the guerrillas came inside the Sierra Nevada, the paramilitary groups, armed groups behind the marijuana. So it created a very violent atmosphere. So you can see the change through the time about one specific area in Colombia. And obviously, the damage, the environmental damage, you could see it in the water resource. Most of the rivers became to be something like that in the lowlands. So it was also an economic problem for the development of the lowlands, very rich lands for the tourism, for, uh, for no? And the trade of water became also a big business. OK, so we are talking today about cultural diversity. What does it mean? In the case of the Sierra Nevada and Santa Marta, we have the Kogi people today, very, very interesting people. We will see something about them. Then you have the Arhuaco people, other indigenous community, the Canquamo, the Wiwa people. But these are the farmers, the campesinos, the the, 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 the peasants, most from different sides of Colombia. So it produced a great mixture of cultural uh, uh, components inside the Sierra. And then you have the lowlands, very fertile lowlands, and you have coal also in the Guajira, very near to the Sierra Nevada. Very big mines of coal. So it start to be the business sector, the political sector, uh, different uh, 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 kind of human groups, and the indigenous people in the middle of the Sierra Nevada and Santa Marta. Nearby, you have the Guajiro people. It's another indigenous community who live in the Guajira Peninsula. It's the desert. Then you have the Canquamo people. It's a mixture between indigenous people. They were indigenous. Now they are more peasants. And they are returning to be indigenous people because of our new constitution. They provide many very important cultural protections in uh, Colombia. Then you have the Wiwa people. You see how they part indigenous, part peasants. Then you have the Arhuaco people. It's a, a very consistent and very a strong group. <coughs> the the, the priesters they were uh, inside their territory, the Capuchinos, for more than 100 years. And it created a great distortion at that time. And then you have the Kogi. They have been really isolated from everything. Then you have the, uh, the fishermen nearby in the swamps. Then you have the cities, no? citizens like us. Then you have the big uh, banana and uh, palm oil crops and cattle uh, in the most fertile lands inside Colombia because you have uh, a, a wonderful uh, a quality of land uh, in the lowlands. Then you have the coal mining and the Sierra Nevada again. OK. We will go to the Kogi people, uh, fantastic people. They have a mission. The mission is to protect nature. This is the only mission that they have, to live together with nature and to protect nature. This is something very unique. Uh, two months ago, I received the visit of the highest, uh, the highest priest of the Kogi people, 
the mama. Mama means son. No? He's in relation to son. He is a mama also. No? He dies. Mm. Uh, and uh, he was uh, fascinated uh, being here in, uh, in Germany. We visit uh, uh, some museums. We establish uh, contacts at a very high level with uh, Klaus Topfer, who was uh, environmental minister of Germany some years ago, but at the same time he was the director general of UNEP, the United Nations Environmental Program. He has been uh, many times mentioned to be the uh, president of Germany. Uh, and I invite him to, to the Sierra some years ago. We were there and he was fascinated. So when the mama and the Cabildo governador came, he invited them to have a, a special kind of dinner. And then we have also very, very high level meetings with other people uh, here in, uh, in Berlin. This is uh, some of the towns. This is uh, for me very special because it's Sejua. Sejua is uh, like my town. Uh, when I go there, uh, it's uh, the place where I stay. It's uh, from uh, one of the most prominent uh, chiefs of the, of the Kogi people. Uh, for them, uh, uh, the Sierra Nevada, Santa Marta, the mountain, the mountain is like a house. It's a home. No? So you can find all times figures where you see how a house is like a mountain. Obviously, when you die, then uh, your soul goes up into the mountain, and then you can from there look to the social behavior of the community. And you, as a community, you have to go to pay offers up to the mountain. Uh, big stones are also uh, places where the mama, the priesters, can go inside the Sierra. No? It's, uh, but they are also, uh, in some uh, ideas, a house. Everything is represented on stones, on nature, on the big trees, on the rivers, on the different kind of uh, uh, plant and animal species, the soils, uh, obviously the uh, el firmamento, la, the, the sky, all the stars, you can read them. Uh, your behavior is related to the stars, uh, to the energy that the stars provide. And, and, and they know it very, 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 very well. No? Then you have the lagoons. No? This is the center where uh, here you can see a double figure. No? The world, the outside world, but the inside world. No? And you can read it through the water. Uh, so it's a very different way of understanding the world as we have. And this is very important. This is very, very important. Then all the uh, lagoons are connected through the rivers to the sea. The sea is the first place of everything in their traditions. No? And all the energies of the Sierra, they go very fluently from, up, uh, from the uh, mountains up, from the lagoons, down to the sea. And there is a great contribution of all the rivers in relation w to the offers they, the nature gave or, or give to the sea. What, what is it? You have heavy rain, then all the seeds from the different ecosystems, they go through the water. And they come down as an offer of all the different kinds of seeds of the Sierra Nevada, of all the different species to the sea. And then the indigenous people, they go down to the sea, they collect it to bring it up 
again to pay. And this is uh, a, a very a spiritual way of paying what you are taking to, uh, in a material way to uh, look. Here you go to pay up in the mountain. There are very long ceremonies up there. All the different holes and seats, uh, uh, they have a special meaning. They are the uh, footprints of ancient people. So they put there also some seeds, some uh, 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 cotton uh, strings that are also very, very important for the protection of everything. Their houses, their towns. This is uh, to provide uh, fertility, no? You need fertility or not? Ah, this is uh, very important, no? Very, very important. <laughs> yes, not here. Not here. Next time. <laughs> no? uh, but uh, they are very different, and I will uh, show something, for example. Uh, they have different kinds of towns. These are the big towns. Many times you arrive to a big town, no one. You say, hey, where is the people? The people are in other ecosystem, or are uh, doing a special kind of ceremony. And this town can be for one month with nobody there. No a cat, no a dog, no a chicken, nothing. They take everything up into the mountains. Uh, and they move from one ecosystem to the other. This is the way how they manage and protect the mountain also. Because the land needs to rest like us. Mm? Everybody needs to rest. So you cannot use, and, and look, when you have, for example, in, a, in the case today of our peasants, they use only one plot. The whole year, every year, the whole life, the land cannot rest. So the productivity goes down also. And the diversity of products, you don't have diversity of products. With the Sierra, you have all kinds of products. And so you can move from up, down, and uh, you can have up the potatoes, and down the corn, and uh, the manioc, and uh, well, you have all kinds of Well, this is one, again, more fertility. I believe in fertility. Other kind of towns. No? Other kind of towns. This is uh, Uluegi, a beautiful place. You can see some of the crops. This is the Malanga here, surrounding the... No? Uh, and uh, you have, uh, well, the big ceremonial houses, ceremonial houses for men, ceremonial houses for uh, uh, women. Uh, then you have a, a, a square house uh, when outside people go there. They never go. No? They don't want to have uh, people there. No? When you arrive uh, to the Kogi territory, uh, how you say hello how are you and they uh, say when are you leaving <laughs> no this is the way how it goes <coughs> this is also uh, fertility this is more complex because it's the first blood that the uh, uh, young lady have in his life then they have a special ceremony and uh, then they put uh, these, uh, uh, ¿cómo se llaman uh, los uh, uh, murciélagos? Uh, the, the bats. They, they are bats. Because the young lady has been beaten by a bat. No? 
So the representation goes up into the ceremonial house. This is uh, more uh, a, a very a special places for ceremonies up in the mountain. No? And they have uh, a special kind of dances and uh, ceremonies, very, very complex ceremonies. Uh, you cannot sleep for uh, uh, three nights, three days, uh, in, uh, for uh, very uh, deep ceremonies. You are uh, sleeping now. So for uh, uh, very, very, very uh, um, uh, deep ceremonies, you have uh, to stake, uh, to, to, to be awake seven days in seven nights. You have to chew a lot of uh, coca leaves. No, and the poporo, this is, uh, well, this is part of the tradition of the Indian cultures. No? Well, many symbolism, no? these are other kind of uh, ceremonial places. This is Makotama, up in the, uh, in, the, in the river, beautiful ceremonies there, a lot of pottery up in the, on the roof. Uh, San Miguel, Seju again. Also, you find many, many different kinds of uh, places. In each of the different rivers, you find a very complex system of behavior, of cere ceremonies, and so on. <coughs> well, the people, the people they, the men, they concentrate uh, in front of the ceremonial house to talk about important issues. Uh, it's uh, the place where uh, you can talk from uh, 6 in the morning to 12 uh, 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 in the day. When the sun is exactly there, then you finish your work. If you are a mama, if you are a priest, no. uh, and... Uh, well, it's uh, something when they have to take decisions, all the decisions are collective decisions and are uh, uh, decisions by consensus. Uh -huh. And just a second, you know, we can say that we decide, but who is behind our decisions? <laughs> ah, that is. Uh, and this is uh, all over the world, with different uh, systems, with different approaches. Uh, hmm. uh, no, this is the mamas. They are uh, people who uh, uh, have been trained uh, for long periods of their life. They have been choose uh, when they are one year old they are taking inside a, a ceremonial house or inside a cave up in the mountain and he cannot see the light of the sun for the next nine years. Uh, he can only uh, walk uh, by night uh, uh, when he moves from one side to the other uh, and uh, he can go uh, with the light of the moon. I don't know, because we live in cities. We cannot perceive the importance of the moon. No? We see, ah, oh, the beautiful moon is uh, rising, uh, full moon. No? Nothing else. But the moon is something very, very important, very important. And when you are in the jungle, you can walk by night with the light of the moon. No, because it's a wonderful light. And the moon, it's a female. Mm -hmm. So you are with uh, some uh, uh, light of the female. So the mamas, they receive the consultation of all the community. When there are big problems, you have to confess. You, but confession is something very important. You have you, you cannot go alone. You have to go with all your family. Because your problem 
it's a family problem. No, it's a family problem. It's not your own problem. Why? Because when you start, when you are conceived at the beginning, then your parents must think about what they are creating. It starts from the beginning. No? So it goes a step by a step, and you have to take care about the baby from the beginning. No? And the behavior from the man and woman in the family must be a special kind of behavior when a new, uh, a new creature is uh, uh, coming to the world. And the mamas, they know very well all the traditions. No? Uh, they can talk to everybody, they hear and they give their opinions in a very, very wise manner. Something that is highly important, let me say highly important, is that the old people is the most important people of the community. Because they have knowledge. Hmm? They know. They have history. They have knowledge. Uh, it's also something very different with our uh, society today. What can we do with my parents? They are old. Uh, uh, put them away. No, 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 no. Uh, the mamas, the mamas, the oldest mama, he has the last word for everything. He's in consultation with the other mamas. And he's very, very well respected. And the ladies, obviously. For one mama, you have a Saha. Saha is a mom. No? Mama is the son. And the Saha, she has been trained also to be the wife of a mama. And he complements everything in the knowledge and the tradition of the culture. So, many times when you go with a stone and you say to a mama, what is the name of this stone? We will see some of the stones because to take decisions you need stones. Uh, you take the stone. What is the name of this stone? The mama looked to it. Where is Saha? So, Saha knows. He, no. He doesn't know. No? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, my, my, my very good friend, uh, Mama Valencio, he's from uh, the Jaguar. He's a Jaguar. He's the son. Uh, he was the son of the son. Uh, uh, he dies uh, four years ago. It was a great pain because he was like my father. No, I went all the time to be with him. Uh, now I work very close uh, with uh, uh, her son, who is uh, the new mama. Uh, but he was a master, no, a wonderful man. So all day they come together to discuss about the different topics. You can start uh, to talk and you have to talk one, two, three hours. And they hear. Then one of them, they talk one hour. But this is not the, the, the situation where everybody talks at the same time. And everyone, no, you have to hear. No, and after it, then you can understand. And then, if you have an opinion, then you can elaborate on on, on it. The stones, they, they are the stones. No different kind of stones, se nos acabó el tiempo, five minutes. So to take the the the, the decision, uh, to take a decision, you take water, you take a stone with a hole, and un calabacito, una totumita, a bowl, a bowl. You have a bowl, each of the mamas they have their own bowl. And they have their own stones, and uh, there are different kinds of stones. Then you can 
with, uh, for a specific topics, you take a quartz, for example, or a cornaline for some others. Uh, uh, and then you put it inside the water because it has a hole. It produces some bubbles. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You look to the bubbles and you see if it goes to the north, to the south, when they explode, if they come together, if they are tiny, if they are big. And so they read it and they can take a decision after all the mamas together have, read, uh, have written the same in the bowl. Very complex form of taking decisions. <coughs> so you can see how they, ah, yeah, there you have the example. Well, uh, here you see a meeting where all of them have their bowls here. Everybody is uh, looking to it, no? Then you have the, well, and, and they read, and they read, and they look to it. They don't write. Everything is oral. But they have a special kind of wood and stone <coughs> figures where they can read all the traditions. Uh, where They are their books in some way. Mm -hmm. This is the universe. No, the different uh, layers, the different worlds, nine worlds up, nine worlds. Uh, of the dark nine worlds, and, and then you have the construction of the of the of the whole universe, uh, and the the history of the culture, and so on. Astronomy, uh, the 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 the, the Sierra, it's a a mother, the mother, and the mother, uh, it's uh, uh, well, this is the figure of the mother, the most important. Uh, 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 mountains, and you can uh, see it's also very complex. Uh, the sun rises here in June, in December it rises here, it moves from here to there, from there to here, through the whole year, and the, there you can see everything. You can read, you can look, you can uh, see what will be uh, the weather, uh, uh, when you have to plant the seeds, when you have uh, uh, to marry, uh, when you have to be fertile, and so on. <coughs> Music for the ceremonies, no, it's uh, something very important. Then the very traditional dances. They keep their gold objects. No, this is uh, the, uni the, 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 the only one in uh, America who keep uh, they, uh, here you can see, ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Well, okay. Ah, something inside. <laughs> no? The pottery that they have, the family. Nice food, working together, self-efficient. The coca plantations. The, the, the women, they collect the coca leaves. Then uh, you see, they are big trees, no? They are trees from, from 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, there uh, are two trees of uh, more than 100 years, big ones. No? Then you uh, bring the shells from the coast uh, and burn them to uh, produce uh, a, a, a calc to introduce uh, and uh, to chew the, the, the coca, and you have the calc inside your poporo. The poporo is given to you when you uh, 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 um, change from your childhood to be a man. And they gave you a poporo, and then you, have, uh, you can have your first uh, relation with a woman, and then the poporo, it's uh, a woman. So you keep it all the time. You are all the time with the woman. No? So don't you remember? No? 
well, other kind of, uh, I'm sorry that we have so few time. Uh, hunting, yeah, you, you need to hunt, but when? Uh, you have some time to hunt. You, cannot, and you can only take the big uh, animal, no, the babies. Uh, so there are clear rules, all kinds of bones. Uh, they make their own clothes uh, with uh, cotton. Uh, well, training. <coughs> but the last uh, message that I want to, to give to you. The Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, in our present days, uh, is divided in three different states, 18 different municipalities, two national parks, three different indigenous territories. What does it mean? Many figures overlapped. One, many laws. But the sense is that the Kogi people and the, uh, the group of indigenous people of the Sierra, they want a very different way of development. And when they come together with the president to talk about it, they said, uh, mm, Mr. President, our development is not in relation to have roads or electricity. Our uh, development is in regard to protect nature. So what we need is land to keep the species, to maintain the vitality of the Sierra Nevada. And in the last 30 years, I have to say that it was possible to give them back uh, a great portion of land that has been lost uh, uh, over the years. The traditional territory of the Kogi is this line here, the black line. In all these small points, the red points, are sacred places. Sacred places when, at the beginning, the mother or, and father of the snake or of the jaguar or of some special family, they grow there. This was the ancestors where they start. And for them, this is very important because they have to pay offers, they have to take care about it. But they are in the lowlands. And the lowlands, now they have a big development of cities, towns, roads, all um, agriculture. <coughs> and very recently, two months ago, it was possible to give them back this very important place. We talked 20 years about it. And only two months ago, we could give them 1.5 kilometer of beach on the, on, the, on, the, on the Caribbean coast in a specific sacred site. And I believe what I have seen in the past uh, 35 years, the land, the territory of the indigenous people, because of all the problems that they face at that time, was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And we came to a conclusion that there must be a very a special uh, um, uh, a, a spiritual work, a spiritual work with the mamas to uh, stop such kind of dynamic and to open again the space. Now the dynamic is to open again the space. It has uh, the uh, recognition of uh, the uh, uh, national government. Uh, this has been declared a special kind of sacred site for the first time in Colombia to protect the sacred site. I believe it opens a new way of approaching to uh, difference in our views in a very complex uh, 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 country uh, like Colombia. Um, they have been, uh, uh, they never 
they have never been involved in any illegal procedures. They work only on their own dynamics and in their culture. And I believe that this has been a wonderful uh, teaching process for all of us. Um, a teaching process that uh, uh, made possible that this uh, water resource of the Sierra Nevada in a new concept can be protected to provide development of other groups of the society in the lowlands, but with great respect for indigenous people. Clean waters, they have clean waters, they have wonderful forest, Mama Valencio, and uh, this is the last uh, picture when uh, our president, uh, Juan Manuel Santos, uh, became president. Uh, he came uh, the first day, he was the inauguration, and uh, uh, he decided uh, to be there very early in the morning. Many people were against it, you know, because how you president, how are you going to the indigenous people for your inauguration, this, is, this cannot be so and you are waiting, uh, 3,500 people are waiting you in Bogota at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What happens if uh, the helicopter cannot come down because the weather, uh, no? so uh, you cannot do it. We make it. And it was possible that he came with uh, the family uh, to talk to the mamas, the mamas to talk to him, to give uh, a special kind of uh, ideas and contributions about the way of uh, they think in the protection of nature. And uh, this was uh, uh, something very, very important, I have to say, to bridge uh, such kind of gaps between uh, uh, the political sector, but at the same time, our cultural diversity. Uh, I believe that uh, we have uh, we need to have a great respect for cultural diversity. We cannot, uh, we have to avoid the, the, the destruction of our cultures in the world. We need uh, to uh, have a cultural dialogue. We need uh, to see how to maintain the environments of uh, different cultures that know a lot about how to manage a special kind of ecosystem. They have been involved for hundreds of years in relation to very fragile ecosystems. And that's why I believe that the contribution of uh, indigenous people and uh, uh, cultural diversity is so important for the huge crisis that we are living in our world today. Thank you very much. <clears throat>